Aaron McMahon here from Live.com. I had a Michigan game Saturday against Penn State. Kickoff is 3.45 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. Keys to victory. Two things need to go right for Michigan on Saturday. One is, is to contain Trace McSorley. He accounted for more than 350 yards to total offense last year against the Wolverines. He's a threat with his feet and his arm. Both Michigan's players and coaches have acknowledged that this week. If they can minimize the big plays, I think they'll be fine defensively. From an offensive standpoint, uh, Michigan needs to protect the quarterback. Penn State's defensive line uh, ranks first in the Big Ten in sacks and tackles for loss. Uh, they're an experienced group. Jim Harbaugh has, has said all week now that they think it's going to be the best defensive line they faced all season. Uh, Michigan's offensive line has held its own this year. They need to do that again on Saturday. And if they can, um, Michigan, I think, will fare just fine on the offensive side of the ball. Players to watch. Uh, we'll start with Michigan. Wide receiver Tariq Black's name I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep an eye on. We saw him briefly two weeks ago at Michigan State. He kind of came into the game for one play but went out during a timeout. He's now had two weeks of rest and, and, and ability to go through practice. All signs point to him being healthy and ready to go. Keep an eye out for him Saturday. For Penn State, Miles Sanders, a running back, is name to keep an eye on. Uh, he's not Saquon Barkley, um, but he's almost as good. He ranks second in the Big Ten in rushing yards. He's, he, he runs well north and south. He has good speed. Uh, Michigan's going to key in on him. If he can have a big game, it's going to create problems with the Wolverines. Prediction-wise, you know, this is a game Michigan needs to win uh, to, to maintain its, its standing with the Big Ten and keep its playoff chances alive. I do think they get it. It is a home game that helps them. They're click, clicking on all cylinders right now, playing well on both sides of the ball. Uh, Penn State does present a threat. I think they will for a good two or three quarters. But I think Michigan ends up uh, running away with a 31-21 uh, win.